For many female veterans, uh, going from military service back into civilian life can be challenging, uh, especially when it comes to re-entering the workforce, not knowing what to wear. And that's where my next guest comes in. Uh, she's a former National Guard specialist who's found a special way to give back to other female veterans. Please welcome Tony Brooks. <laughs> All right, Tony, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, tell us why you decided to start your foundation. As a female veteran, sometimes it's difficult to transition into the civilian workforce. And so, when I went through my transition, I had difficulty finding something to wear when I was trying to get acclimated. I served eight years in the Army National Guard, and it was, it was really tough. It was very intimidating. So I approached the YWCA, and I asked them if they would allow me to do a fundraiser for female veterans in work transition. They obliged, and we ended up doing a fashion show, quite naturally. That's my world. That's my expertise. We raised funds to help female veterans transition. You know, we were able to do resume workshops and, and mock interviews and things of that nature. Wow. <laughs> Well, Tony is about to help out a few more women, okay? So we heard from three uh, female veterans who were struggling uh, to transition back into civilian workforce, and they needed new looks for their jobs. So after the break, everybody, we're gonna meet these women, and we're gonna see how Tony worked her stylist makeover magic. All right, everybody, we're back with Tony Brooks, and joining her is celebrity hairstylist Johnny Wright, who has worked with A-listers such as former First Lady Michelle Obama. Uh, and today, they're gonna be helping uh, three female veterans with new looks for their new jobs. So this is called Operation Runway. All right, so, Tony, tell us about the first veteran. So we have Kelsey. She actually did up to five years in the Marine Corps. Yeah. <laughs> and so, Kelsey just recently got out of service, and she just got her job this week as a restaurant hostess. And we're doing something training for her. All right, Kelsey, come on out. Tony, tell us about this look. So we did the on trend, which is the leopard print in the turtleneck for this season. And we did a pencil skirt, of course, to simulate her little, her curves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Kelsey is very hip and trendy, and we wanted her to be really bold. As a restaurant hostess, you know, she's talking to people. She has to have that energy. So we did a pop of red and that bold belt and that bold shoe. Okay. <laughs> Johnny, tell us what you did with the hair. So we gave her a real nice red copper color. We bumped it up a little bit. She has a lot of hair, so it's fine. So I added a few clip-in pieces in there, but this is her natural hair texture. I just diffused it. I got, I got the clip-in pieces from Extensions Plus. They have amazing hair, and this hair looks exactly like her hair texture. We just diffused it, and this is what you got. Wow. Kelsey, everybody clapping for you. They are really feeling you. How do you feel with your new look? Well, Steve, if you know me, you know that this is way out of my comfort zone, but I absolutely love everything that these stylists did for us today. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Tony, who's next? So we have Barbara. Barbara served in the Army for almost 20 years. She's, Barbara's the lieutenant colonel, so she's a natural boss. Mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barbara, come on out. All right, Tony, so tell us about Barbara's new look. So on Barbara, we went very bold with the on-trend, high-waisted trouser in metallic and black. And it's one of those techniques that you would use if you want to cinch your waist in. We paired that with a, a nice white blouse that had the black piping to kind of make everything come together. We gave her a red vegan leather jacket with a collar that screams, I'm a boss, with the bold red shoes. All right. And Johnny, what'd you do with her hair? I mean, come on. That, that deep side part with that heavy bang, that's boss lady all day. <laughs> so, so Barbara suffered a lot of stress when she was in Afghanistan, so she lost a lot of hair. So I did put some extension plus clip-in pieces in her hair as well, too. And I gave her a nice, sleek, 
bone straight, edgy bob or lob, you like to call it that. And I think she's right on trend. She looks amazing. So, Barbara, you feel, how, how you feel about this look? You ready for what you got coming next? I'm excited to get back out there, get back in the workforce, and uh, make those moves. Hey, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony, uh, tell us about your last veteran. So Mia, Mia is the comedian of the bunch. She had us all cracking up. Yes. <laughs> but Mia served eight years in the army and she was a combat medic. So she was also stressful in her position because she had to actually watch her fellow soldiers, you know, when they were uh, wounded. And she carried a lot of stress from that. And so after Mia got out of the military, she stayed at home and worked from home in real estate. Mia never got out of a pair of pajamas. But now she's ready to go into the corporate world with a nice, powerful look. All right, well, Mia, come on out. I don't have to ask you how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, tell us about her new look. <laughs> so Mia, obviously, it's, is in love with her curves. <laughs> so we definitely wanted to insinuate those curves. We wanted to insinuate those curves in a corporate setting. So we did a mauve dress and a bold belt in plum. Then we, we finished it all off with a deep, a deep plum boot. So what we're doing here with this look is called monochromatic. So a, a good useful tip is you take one color in different shades and you can wear one look. So Johnny, well, how'd you transform Mia's hair? I actually cut off about five inches of hair around the base and then cut off even more around the uh, getting her those layers. But we gave her some beautiful highlights, which you can see, and bumped her base up just a little bit. But you can see the nice shine on the hair and I think she looks great. Yes. Come on back out. You look amazing, ladies. Uh, you all are going home with those looks, so take everything with you that belongs to you. And uh, that's not all, because Tony Brooks is giving you a free shopping spree at her boutique. So, folks, I want to thank uh, Tony Brooks and Johnny Wright for these great makeovers. If you would like to donate to the Tony Brooks Foundation, head over to stevetv.com to learn more. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.